government policy, particularly in austerity, is driving poverty and destitution uh, in the city. Well, across the country, nationally, but also in particular in areas like Stoke-on-Trent. Cuts to welfare, cuts to um, public services, cuts to local government, and also in particular cuts to, uh, to benefits. So I think when we say uh, families on the brink, we're understating, I think there's a humanitarian crisis, and I think there's lots of evidence on this nationally. And everybody knows about food banks, and, uh, and that's wrong to have to rely on, on food banks, but um, it's got worse since our last report. Uh, we've, um, there's this, this kind of catchphrase, um, either eat or heat, and now people can't either eat or heat. So I want to emphasise the absolute desperate uh, situation that's going on in Stoke-on-Trent. We have the highest cost, one of the highest costs of childcare uh, or lowest levels of subsidy, which is where austerity comes in, uh, in um, the Western world. Uh, and this means that people are paying quite a high uh, price, personal price, for um, accessing childcare. So it means that it, uh, it means that in in many cases, people are actually working to pay for the childcare. I think the most urgent task is that is raising the level of benefits. Uh, the current currently benefits are well below the minimum income standards. Uh, you know, about 30% of the average wage. Uh, so basically, benefits are not enough uh, to live on, which is one of the key factors why so many people who are reliant on benefits, which includes people in work, uh, are forced to go to the food banks. Before you even think about levelling up, or part of the process of levelling up, is dealing with these fundamental issues.